Hello Grade Tens. Today we'll see how KK plots and uses line and broken line graphs. KK will use an example that involves converting degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius to demonstrate a line graph. You will notice that the line is straight. In the second example, KK uses the example of a baby's growth. You will notice that this line changes direction according to where the next point is. This is called a broken line graph. Let's join KK now. In South Africa today, we use degrees Celsius to measure temperature. But when your parents and grandparents were young, temperature was measured in degrees Fahrenheit. In America and England, they still use Fahrenheit to measure temperatures, especially for weather reports. So today we're going to draw a line graph that will enable us to change degrees Fahrenheit to degrees centigrade or Celsius. But before we start, do you know what freezing point is in degrees centigrade? The answer is zero, but freezing point in degrees Fahrenheit is 32. At the other end of the scale, the boiling point of water at sea level is 100 degrees centigrade or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, we can use this graph to convert between temperatures given in centigrade or in Fahrenheit. We start with the axes, with a horizontal axis labeled degrees centigrade and the vertical axis labeled degrees Fahrenheit. Now we need to decide what scale to use on each axis. I suggest each block represents 10 degrees. We know that this will be a straight line graph because it converts one type of measurement to another. So we only need two points to plot the graph. We can use freezing point for our first point. That's zero on the centigrade axis and 32 on the Fahrenheit axis. And for our other point, we can use boiling point. That's 100 on the centigrade axis and 212 on the Fahrenheit axis. Then we join these two points with a straight line and we're done. Now we can use this graph to convert between temperatures given in centigrade or in Fahrenheit. For example, if I want to see what 30 degrees centigrade is in Fahrenheit, I find 30 on the centigrade axis, go straight up to the line, and then go across to the Fahrenheit axis and get to 86 on this axis. So 30 degrees centigrade is the same as 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's work out what 100 degrees Fahrenheit is in centigrade. We go across from 100 to the line, then down to a tiny bit less than 38. So 100 degrees Fahrenheit is nearly 38 degrees centigrade. Now let's look at an example of a broken line graph. Every baby that goes to a clinic has its growth plotted onto a graph on its clinic card. This gives the clinic a good idea of whether the baby is getting enough food. Let's see how this baby is doing. Here's the list of measurements made by the clinic health worker. We can plot them onto the graph provided by the clinic. This baby weighed 3,2 kilograms at birth. We can plot that here. Then, after one month, she weighed 3,8 kilograms. That's this point. And after two months, she weighed 4,3. Then at three months, she weighed 4,2. Notice, she lost about 100 grams over this month. Perhaps she was sick. Anyway, in January, she weighed 4,7, and in March, 6,3 kilograms. So, we can plot the growth of this baby's life over a six-month period. Then, we join these known measurements with straight lines. Of course, we don't know the baby's exact mass here at five months, because she wasn't weighed then. It could be above the line we've drawn, or it could be below it. We can also compare this baby's growth with the trend lines shown on the chart. This trend line predicts the growth of an average baby girl whose birth weight is 3,2 kilograms. Researchers have worked this out by gathering data about mass from thousands of babies. Those were two very clear examples of the graphs. It seems clear when the graph is a straight line, we call it a line graph. When the graph is a series of points joined by straight lines to form a jagged line, we call it a broken line graph. 
Another example of a line graph is when we show conversions between different currencies. An example of a broken line graph is the changes in the price of an item over a period of time. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. You may want to try some of the tasks in the data handling task video. You will also be able to learn more about data handling on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.